Hey guys, welcome back to another train symbol video and today we're gonna be attempting one of the scenarios with the class 66. We're gonna be attempting the one with the called Dragline. Uh, HST has been taken out of service at Reading due to technical issues with passengers disembarked. The train is holding back to all of common for repairs. Okay, let's get started. This one looks a lot more exciting than the other ones, so let's do this one. So yeah, first time driving a class 66 in Train Sim World. I have driven it in Train Simulator, but I wouldn't say I'm the best driver at freight train. I don't really like driving freight trains, but I'll give this one a go. I have found all collectibles, so no need to search for them. Drag line. Okay, we need to go to platform 14. So it's even though we're on our break actually working, which is a bit disappointing, so we will probably get overtime for this or that triple pay or something. So platform 14. I'll just follow this thing because it's much easier. <laughs> uh, down there. There we go. That wasn't too hard. This station has a lot of platforms. And now I have to wait there. I believe that's the HSD that we're we'll be pulling. I believe towards that side is like towards Oxford, but obviously the route ends there. It goes a little bit forward and then it ends. Wait, is it? Well, I'm not too sure actually. That might be towards Paddington, and this side might be towards Oxford, I'm guessing. Uh, I think that makes sense actually. Yeah, this side's towards Paddington. So we're going to be going this way, and then we're going to be reversing all the way to, to that platform and taking HST, essentially. And the 66 should be all the way there. Well, they should be coming soon. In the meantime, got class 166 here. Pretty nice station, actually. The class 66 is taking its time, though. There's uh, another 166 coming the other way. I think that's coming from uh, Guildford, is it? Looks like it. Okay, there it is. There's a class 66. Here's one of the maps you can find. So, this is essentially the full map of the Great Western Express. Okay, let's just wait for this train, then we'll hop on. Here it comes. I believe it's stopping here. And that train should depart, yep. Very nice. Hey dude, and in he literally vanished. Let's get on. Um, there we go. Open this. Close that. Close this. And sit here. Thanks for helping us on this job. You need to get that locomotive over to the failed HST and hook it up. 
head out to the Kenneth Bridge loop, and then you'll get a path back into Reading Station. Okay, turn the master key on, which is on this side. Um, it's kind of hard to see, actually. So let's just move that to... There we go. Move that to there. There we go. Turn the headlights on, so let's click on this button. We can open the windows, so let's do that. Open that one, and open this one. Hold the brakes release, which is over here. I can do it to keep it on your way. There we go. Signal input permitting, increase the throttle to get going. Okay, let's get going. Stop at location, connect bridge loop. We got a uh, 30 miles an hour speed limit. Got another 166 coming into Reading. Probably going to Oxford or... Uh, where else does do 166s go anyway? No idea. Speed is going up to 40. And then 60. But no point going too fast because we have to stop in like a mile anyway. Yep, we got yellow signal. I thought that was a red in a minute. Pretty nice cab actually. Really nice. Probably reminds me of the CSX heavy haul uh, trains. Uh, this part is pretty much the same thing. Fortunately the radio doesn't work on, it, on any of the trains on this route which is a bit disappointing. Okay we've got 0 0.6 away so... Yeah, we are going to be switching tracks. We're going to be going into the same tracks as the HSD. Is that Reading? So to break in this train, you have to hold the brakes. And then they'll start braking. So those tracks go to Guildford, I'm guessing. Almost there. Let's go outside a bit actually. Really, really nice. This does come in different liveries, but it's not in Train Sim Mall. If you own the class 66 in Train Sim then there's a few uh, different liveries you can get. This one comes with, this livery comes with the uh, 66 on the North London line, which I actually don't own on Train Simulator because I should buy it, but. We go on trains in well now, so no point anyway. Okay, there we go. Supply the brakes. You need to switch cabs now, so put the reverse into neutral, which is over here. So buggy, you know. There you go. 
perfect. Turn the headlights off, so put that two down here, and turn this off. Let's close the windows, if I can, there you go. Okay, let's get up and switch cabs, so, uh, I think we have to get out of the train, I believe. So let's do that. We'll close this door, though. There we go. Close this. Sit down. Put the master key in. Which is somewhere. Move that there. Well, I think it's a master key anyway. Oh, there it is. Can you move this back here? Then we can move it. There we go. Turn the headlights on. Put this to day, which is over here. Oh, whoops, whoops. There you go. And we should be good to go once we hold the brakes. So let's do that. Okay, let's get going. Stop at location signal T1685. Which is 0 0.8 miles away. We have a 25 miles in the speed limit, so... Can't go too fast. Uh, okay then. <laughs> you know what, let's load the last checkpoint. I think we're meant to uh, pass tab that signal, I'm guessing. Uh, it didn't tell me to, but I'll do it anyway. So just tab. Let's see if it allows us though. No, I think it's gonna fail again actually. Yep. Well, that's weird. So do I have to wait then, I'm guessing? A bit annoying. Should let us go though. I did play this story before and there was no racing over here, so I'm not too sure what's happening. There might be a train coming actually. So we're here and I don't really. S okay, that train, yeah. That's the train we're waiting for, I'm guessing. But that's on a separate platform, uh, piece of track anyway, so... Doesn't, doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay, it's yellow now, it's fine. There's a HSD. Well, open the windows, let's do that. There we go. Good thing about this game is that you can uh, replay the last checkpoint, which is kind of cool. So if you do fail it, then I guess you can have another attempt. We got 0 0.6 miles, so actually 0 uh, 0.1 mile actually.
I believe we have to stop in front of the signal uh, that the HSC is in. And I'm guessing we're going to be requesting pass the red signal because obviously there's a train there and normally we won't be allowed to go there but we are going to be taking that train to all lot common so we should be given permission. It's a little bit fast actually. Going a bit too slow I guess. I think we're switching tracks one more time. Here we are. Now oh, that is a red signal, so I think I have to stop here. So let's do that. Oops, apply the brakes. Let's crawl into the thing. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Yeah, I don't really like the braking on this uh, train. Mind you, that would probably change the yellow signal anyway. I think it's fine, so let's apply the brakes. There we go. Perfect. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I have to go four yards ahead. That's so annoying. Uh, really game. Uh, so annoying, you know. Oops, I applied it very quick. I don't know why I'm putting release. <laughs> there we go. It should complete. There we go. It's very fussy about where you stop the train. Okay, now it's request danger, so let's do that. Request to proceed, so there we go. Let's release the brakes. And let's get going. We'll have to stop just in front of the fuel train. So let's go 15 miles now, that should be fine. I actually did crash into the HST last time I played the scenario, so... Let's try not to do that. I actually broke this uh, scenario, I think, or objective, so... I couldn't complete it. Class 66 DB Shinka. And yeah, once we've uh, got in front of the train, we're basically gonna um, couple to it. So we have to get out of the train and couple it, and then we're we'll changing our ends and then taking it to uh, all our common. Now I haven't got to that stage yet, so hopefully we'll be, be able to do that. thing release release uh, I don't want to be doing too slow uh, <laughs> let's just speed up a little bit there we go I'm 
There we go, that's perfect. Uh, I think that's okay, yeah, yeah, it's I think we're a bit too far from the HSD, but it should allow us to couple up. So climb out and activate the Buckeye coupler on front of the train, so let's get up. Uh, open this. Open this. Hello. I wish you could sit down here, though. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, Buckeye is over here, I think. Um, what is it here? We have to get on the tracks, unfortunately. There we go. And uh, what did I click here? I think I have to go a bit cl closer. No, it's only to click something here. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Um, I found it. Hello, game. Where the heck is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, now what? Look inside the hatch and activate the back Okay. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let's crouch and do it. There we go. We could turn to the rescue uh, locomotive, which is this one. Close that door now. Close this. Sit down. Okay, let's put it to release. Let's go gently forward. There we go. Making connections, achievements, put the reverse in the neutral, which is... Turn this off. So down there. Turn this off. Okay, we need to change ends. We have to go in front of the HST to put the tail lights on, I believe. Yeah, we do. So basically, that's coupled up now. So let's take a screenshot of that because why not? Very nice. Okay, let's run to the front of the train. Here we are, another HST is coming in. This down. Okay, turn the light to tail lights and press the parking brake off button. Okay, um, let's put this into tail lights, which is somewhere there. Um, can't really see which one it is. No, that's the wrong ones. Okay, those are the wrong lights, but it doesn't let me change it, unfortunately. So let's go back into that cab and change it. Where's the tail light? It's so blurry, like. Uh, so annoying. It's not letting me change it now. There we go. Is that it? Nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> that took his time. Okay, let's go back. Close that. Come on. Okay, let's try the HS. 
uh, class 66 and take the HST to the all out common depot. Like there are some announcements as you just heard but as you walk away it, like you, you can hardly hear it which is a bit annoying let's open this e to get in let me in game there we go open this close that you can close this as well actually there we go put the master key in and send you forward so Turn the headlights to day, day one. There we go. Let's open the windows. So you can open that window or open this window. Let's open that one for that one, and for this one, we'll open the front one. Alright, so. Signal permitting, increase the fall to get going. So yeah, let's get going. We have to reach all up common at 10.15, uh, what time is it now? It's 9.24, wow. Oops, I think we need to put this into running. Um, why am I not going? Ah, because we have to hold the brakes, my bad. Oops, let's release the brakes. And we should be able to go. Okay, there we go. Let's get going. Um, not too, oh, there we go. Slowly but surely. Obviously, we will take quite a while to accelerate because we're taking a massive HST behind us. As you can see, let's take a screenshot actually. to the rear of the train which is the HST. We're taking a really long train you know look at this. Okay let's go back into the cab there's a 166 going to uh, Guildford. Let's speed up actually. So we got 32 miles to go and I think it gave us to 9.15 to reach there. 10.15 sorry. So we got 50 minutes. Now obviously we're not going to be driving 125 miles an hour like HST so it will take a bit longer. I believe that's a yellow signal we got so we should be okay. That's for throttle eight. We need all the acceleration that we can get, you know. Even though the speed limit is going up to 125 miles an hour, I don't think we can go that fast. Well, the speed limit in this train is 75, so yeah. But isn't it like a limit when you are hauling another train, like to 60 miles an hour or something? Now, oh, is there an AWS in this train? That's what I want to know. And why have I not ena enabled it? AWS, AWS. Um, let me go up that off. It should be here somewhere. Oh, here it is, AWS. AWS ISO, uh, DSD ISO. Can't click it though. Um. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Let me know where the AWS is in this train. Because I'm not too sure.
I'm hoping it's all green signals because I don't really pay much attention to the signals in this game. Okay, it's a yellow one, so we should be good for now. HST. This is really cool, you know. 66 holding a HSC, that's really, really cool. I was slowing down too much, actually. It's a 166 there. We should pay more attention actually, so let's do that. I believe the other class 66 scenario is uh, pulling some uh, cargo from one stage, uh, one depot to another, I'm guessing. But yeah, this one's a lot more interesting though. Pulling a HS. What is that HS? Uh, yeah, I think that's the AWS, I think. Right, let's check the map. Well, we were here, and. Yeah, yellow signal, that's fine. Oh, there's the HST overtaking us. Doesn't seem to be going very fast though. Let's get a signal. Obviously, we have to give way to our commuter, commuter trains and other trains. So, even though we are pulling our HST, like we don't have priority. I'm, I'm guessing. Seems like we can only go 35 miles now, unfortunately, so we're not going that fast. <laughs> That's probably why it's given us still another 45 minutes to reach there. Why doesn't the horn work? There we go. That's kind of weird. Now, obviously, we can stand up in this train and sit down here if you want. I kind of like that actually, this guy can drive for us, his hair is a bit weird, a bit glitchy, got electric shock rescue and treatment, you can actually read this somehow, so if you're a bit bored driving class 66 then you can read this I guess, I'm not going to read it because I'm not interested. Oh, this is the horn. Which doesn't work. Nice. Oh, here's a DSD. Can't move the mirrors, though. The mirrors are kind of useless, as you can see. <laughs> you can't see anything through the mirrors. What does this do? Nothing. We can open that obviously. Close it. We could, in fact, I think, uh, walk through to the. Actually, we can't walk through the HST because obviously we're coupled to it. I 
Okay, we got a green signal now, so that's good. Can't zoom that much out in this game, unfortunately. I'm not too sure why. That's as far as you can zoom out. Which I think is a limitation they've chosen to do or something. I don't know. There must be a reason why. FPS seems to be really good actually, which is a bit of a surprise. The Shenkin livery. Shenkin. Shenka. DB. sit back into the driver's cab then we can see actually what speed we're going because we were seeing there and not as a pa uh, driver uh, even though we're driving the train it didn't show us the HUD so we're technically sitting up but once you're in the driver's seat you'll see the HUD back yeah only 41 miles an hour we're going slightly down else so we should pick up a little bit of speed I believe this is a Thai food station I'm guessing there's a branch then that goes towards that side I'm not too sure where it goes. It's a bit lag. Oh, it's quite laggy now. All of a sudden, it's laggy. So yeah, that's where the branch line goes. Over there. Oh, that's laggy as hell, man. But now it's fine. You got a double yellow signal though. Look at that thing dangling in front of our train. Sixty-six. No clock. Class H H C. Sorry. Going on the way. So single year now. It's a weird the camera angle. Okay then. Twenty seven miles away from uh Olo Common. I'm bet guessing we'll be go going inside a depot and then Actually I'm not too sure. It might be outside the depot and then maybe another driver will take over. They'll basically un uncouple the sixty six to the HST and then obviously they can work on HST. So we're currently here. You can't do much on this map, unfortunately. And we're going all the way here. Yeah, I think that's outside the depot. It must be, yeah. It looks like it. Hopefully we'll be able to break 50 miles now, eventually. Got like just over 35 minutes reach our destination hopefully once once we get to uh, the deep uh, depot um, we'll be able to uncouple it to the uh, HSD so it's kind of cool getting out of the train and then coupling manually instead of using the HUD
Lava seems pretty good actually. A little bit of blue skies, a little bit cloudy, and a little bit laggy. <laughs> oh, it's really laggy now though. But it should be fine in a minute, I'm guessing. Some parts of the route are just laggy for whatever reason. Not too sure why. Still no news on an optimization patch from Dogsville Games, unfortunately. There was an update on update patch a few days ago and it said they fixed it fixed a few problems, but I haven't actually noticed anything, so. Well they say they fixed it but I'm guessing it's not fixed. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the optimization patch, then maybe we can do some scenarios in the heavy rain or in the blizzard weather, which looks really cool. So right now if I do it then it'll just lag too much. A little bit of lag here now is fine, but if it's gonna lag throughout the video then there's no point for you to watch it, in my opinion, and no point me playing it, because it, it, it wouldn't be nice. Almost 45 miles an hour. Like we are taking a like a seven car HST train, so it's quite a heavy train. Got two power car trains and obviously the passenger cars, Mark Three cars, I think they're called. We're taking one heavy train. Well, we won't be breaking any speed limits in this scenario, hopefully. I wonder if you can derail in this game or not. I haven't tried yet. I don't want to, but, you know. I want to see what happens when you derail. Like, what type of train physics happens. Uh, double yellow, I think. No, nope, single yellow. I'm just praying there's no red single because pr we're pretty much screwed if it have to do have one because then we would have to probably break quite uh, quite a lot. And considering we have a HSC in behind us, then it's going to be even longer to um, break. Just got over 30 minutes to reach uh, all up common. And we've got still 23 miles left, so yeah. I can't really go any faster than I am currently, so. In fact, the HSC should be pushing us faster because that train can go up to 125 miles an hour anyway. <laughs> that would be kind of funny actually. Like a HST are pushing a 66, 125 miles an hour down the Great Western Main Line. Okay, we got a green signal now, so that's good. Seems like 45 miles an hour is the maximum speed we can go now. It's not too bad actually. Considering this has a maximum speed of 75 miles an hour and we're doing 45 while towing our uh, HST, which is pretty good. That's the DSD driver reminder 
device. Oh, that HTC is going full speed, I'm guessing. It definitely looks like it. The lights are not on though, so yeah, I'm not too sure what's up with that. Whenever the AI is driving, the lights are never on, so that's something that I also have to fix. Obviously they are AI, uh, they're not human, but at least on the light should be on, you know, when it's driving. And the, the tail lights and of course the marker lights. I will say that the scenery is a lot better compared to Train Simulator, which you would expect. The detailing should be a lot more. I believe this is a uh, Slough Station. Well, it looks like Slough Station. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Slough Station, is it? Uh, I think that's Maidenhead actually. Yeah, Maidenhead, that's not Slough. And I believe that's where the Windsor Branch goes, I'm guessing. Or is it after, yeah, Windsor Branch goes at um, Maidenhead, I'm guessing. Oh, is that a Slough? I think it's another branch line that goes from Slough towards uh, Gulf, I'm guessing. I think. I mean, there's a lot of branch lines on this route, but unfortunately they're not in the game, so... It would be cool if they did add it, then I would know more about it, I guess. I know there's a Windsor branch that goes from... Um... Is it Slough, is it? No, it can't be. Oh, one of the stations, and then um, obviously Heathrow branch after Hazing Harlington, and then the Greenford branch at after West Ealing. Oh, nice scenery! Look at that. And this is on low settings as well, so looks pretty good. Unfortunately, you can't zoom out that much. I kind of want to explore a bit of the scenery, but... Can't do it with this uh, scenario. is this um I should know this uh, I think it's Iva is it or Langley Langley uh, something Burry uh, I can't, couldn't see that uh, I can't really tell ah Taplow there we go Taplow that's the, that's the one Taplow kind of a weird station name though I did attempt the other class 66 uh, scenario and one of the objectives I couldn't do which was uh, I think set the, uh, what do you call it, speed limited to 3.00 or something and it told me to uh, essentially click this thing which is the speed thing up or down. I was clicking it and nothing happened so I'm not I'm not too sure if, the, is that, if that scenario is glitched out or not. But yeah, if you have completed that scenario then let me know. I don't know, it's just me. But that part I couldn't actually do for some reason. I was clicking it, but it didn't set the speed. So I tried doing it using this thing, but I don't think you can do it from this. It does work, but... Probably have to read a manual, actually.
What station is this? Um, something Burry. Something Burry. Let's actually check it. Let's watch the train pass by. Burnham. Is that it? Yeah, Burnham. Yeah, Burnham. I thought it's something Burnbury or something like that, but it's Burnham. This station is a no smoking station. That's true. Real upgrade works. Okay, let's go back to the train. Otherwise, it will, it will lag quite a lot. <laughs> I think the next station is Iva. I think. It's Iva, and then it's um, Slough, I think. Yeah, Iva, Slough, and then... Um, I forgot after that, actually. <laughs> Might be a handwall, actually. Because we're not too far from uh, Paddington, actually. So all our commons like maybe like two miles away from Paddington. So in fact, we're only like we're under twenty miles away from Paddington. Indian border is like five miles away from uh, Paddington. I think Slough is like I don't know, ten miles, is it? Ten to fifteen miles. Actually, we're slightly slower now. It's a bit disappointing. Only 44 miles an hour. There's a station coming up, I think. Or is that? I think that's a, that's a bridge actually. Yeah, it's just a bridge. It looks like a station actually. We can check the map if there's a station coming up. Um, actually, the map does actually tell us. Yep, this map is really useless. I mean, really useful. If you care about looking at a map that doesn't give you any information. <laughs> yeah, there is a station here. This must be Ivor, I'm guessing. If there's a four digit, uh, four letter word then. Alright, actually this is Slough. Yeah, this is Slough Station actually. I think I was after Slough, yeah, that must make sense. <laughs> I thought it should be next, and then it's um, Hanwell or it's Hazing Harlington. This actually labels everything on the train, you know? That's kind of cool. That is really cool. Then we've got a parking brake system. And then obviously there's the emergency uh, thing. Electric shock rescue and treatment. Good thing these are readable because in train simulator, they've added these things, but you can't read them, so it's pretty much useless.
Okay, only 15 miles away from um, Olo Common. Only got 18 minutes to reach there though, so I feel like we're gonna be late. Then again, I can't really go any faster, so. If it did want me to go faster, and I can't. Don't know why the horn doesn't work. That's weird. Whoops, I own the wipers. Um why am I opening the wipers? Oh god. Uh where's the wipers on there? How do you off the wipers? Oh great. I actually don't know what key it is for the wipers. I think it's V is it? Okay now it's hundred percent so Control V maybe. Um Wipers, wipers are here, right? Uh, nope. Yep, this is a Iva station, is it? Let me see. Yeah, it must be Iva, surely. But where are the wipers here? So we've got here. Windscreen wiper left, windscreen wiper right. Oh god. In here, I don't know where the wipers are. Is it on here? How do you turn the wipers off? Does anyone know? Um, I actually don't know. You know what? Let me check uh, the controls. One sec. <laughs> Keyboard controls, wipers, 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 wipers. V and up arrow. V and up arrow. Ah, uh, that doesn't make it's not working. Ah, oh, God, now my camera's. Messed up now, great. Absolutely great. Ah, <laughs> oh, my day. What am I doing? Okay, no, no, no. Um, why is my camera messed up now? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh. oh, my day's game. What are you doing, man? No, 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 I don't want to look at this. Can you just... Okay, I think it's fine now. Oh, no, no, no. This is stand up. Oh. And it's lagging up, great. Absolutely great, okay, we're fine now. Yeah, I don't know how to off the wipers. Once it start, stops lagging, then I'll try to find the button. Because it said V control or something. Buckeye locked. Uh, okay then. Hopefully that doesn't affect the uh, train. Nope, we still got a HST behind us, that's good. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I clicked the button which uh, disconnected the uh, coupler to the HSD. Oh, it's really lagging now though. Really lagging, oh my god. It's because the wipers are on. 
Yeah, I know the wipers are on, guys, but I don't know how to turn it off, so. And the game is really laggy now, unfortunately. I can't really move. But yeah, we just got like under, just over 50 minutes to reach it, and got 12 miles, is it? 12 miles still left. So, almost there. There will probably be a speed limit soon. Because we will be switching tracks once we get close to all our common. It's a little bit less laggy now, so... Did that. Does this stop it? It's definitely going slow though. Oh well. Oh no, is it might rain, you know. Probably not. <laughs> it looks like a pretty nice day to go out. I don't know why the Buckeye locked uh, icon is still there. What was that red signal? I don't think it's for our one. Yeah, it's not ours. Yeah, we got a green somewhere, fine. HST coming the other way, nice. They've definitely added a lot more AI to the scenarios compared to Train Simulator. Nice to see. And let's see in the cab, kind of lagging the game. But yeah, so far so good. I think the real test will begin once we get to all the common because we'll be changing different speeds and we'll put it in counter red signal which I'll probably pass. Hopefully not. Yeah, we're slightly going slower every time, like every couple of miles. And we were going at 46 miles an hour, but now it's down to 39. We are going slightly um, uphill, though. Which doesn't help the situation. I think this is West Ealing Station, is it? Um, West Ealing Station, I think it's coming up soon. I think. Ealing Broad is only like 5 miles away from uh, so essentially we're like 11 or 12 miles away from um, Paddington so I feel like Hazy Harlington station should come up soon then I'm guessing
Take a screenshot, why not? There we go. Still 8.7 miles away, so... I think this is Hazel Huntington, it must be. I do see some extra pieces of track down that side, going towards Heath, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, that must be Hazel Huntington Station, it must be, surely. It looks like Hazel Huntington. Let's check. Yep, that's Hazing Arlington. The fr uh, freight car there. The same uh, shin delivery. Maybe another trade train is taking over with these. Uh... Yeah, there's another H uh, class 66. Nice. Well, we're pulling some something a lot uh, more val valuable. There's some empty uh, wagons. I think we can accelerate faster than this. Alright, yeah. Throttle A is the highest. Imagine there was like a throttle 9 or 10, which I didn't realize. So we've got like 10 minutes to go. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be late, it seems. Unfortunately. Currently got 6,573 XP. Pretty good. We'll probably level up after this scenario, I guess. I think this is a uh, Hanwell station, I think. Or Southall. I think it's Hanwell then Southall. Then it's West Ealing. Let's take a look. This is Southall, I think. Yeah, Southall. Then it's Hanwell. Just over six miles left, and just under eight minutes to reach there. That's interesting. Look at that. It looks kind of weird, actually. That one six six is going very fast, indeed. Look 
close this window actually. There we go. We should be approaching a uh, West Ealing or uh, Hanwell. Soon. William is going down to 80 miles now, but there's no way I can get go that fast anyway, so that's fine. This should be handball, I think. I'm pretty sure that was Handwall Station. And next up should be West Ealing, where the branch line goes towards Greenford, which is on this side. Yeah, this is West Ealing because I can see by the scenery. And the train tracks are going towards that side as well. Why doesn't the horn work? That's so annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's not working. Yeah, fix the game, Duffel Games, come on. the four miles next station should be uh, Ealing Broadway it's just after that um, tunnel thing then Acton Mainline then Olo Common Depot we've got four minutes to reach there yeah we're not gonna reach there on time are we <laughs> I feel like that should be 10.20 maybe, or 10.25 to reach there. We've pretty much been full throttle since the beginning. This is Union Broadway, change here for the Central Line and District Line trains, and here for the next services. those tracks go to actually those are the obviously central line and district line aren't they obviously I should have known that already <laughs> We should approach. Actually, I think that's the central line, is it? Yeah, that's central line. So that's the central line, and the other one was the district line. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would the central line and district line trains go the same side anyway? And Acton Mainland is coming up. We've got Class 66 there. Quite laggy now. It's a lot of class 66s around here. Ok, 
Okay, speed is going down to 15 miles now, so let's actually slow down. Oops, that's what I want. Let's release that because we're going too slow now. Okay, we can go a bit forward. Oops. I did want to speed up a bit now. There we go. Yeah, I think we braked a bit too early there, so... We're going to be even more late now. We've got 1.5 miles away, so yeah. We we're gonna be lit anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Imagine the scenario just fails us because we're late. That would be uh, really bad and really annoying for me. But I don't think it will. Okay, we do need to keep an eye on the signals. Got a double yellow signal. Another double yellow. Oh, we're not early, so we should be fine. Gonna be a few minutes late. Fortunately, it's a bit laggy now. Class 66. HST. I kind of could have do without the AI now because it's making the game really laggy. Let's go off the throttle. It's a class 66. I think in my previous service mod episode we went through that train wash. The one on the left hand side. And we stopped in that depot there, all the way down there, if you're wondering. The one that went from, um, what do you call it? London Paddington to um, All Oak Common Depot. I think it was at 8.42 at night time. I think we're okay. No, that's a red signal, isn't it?
Unless we're switching tracks, which I don't think we are. No, we good, actually. Speed up again. As I mentioned, it should have been 1020. It's pretty much going to be bang on 1020 at all common. I think 1015 would have been uh, kind of impossible in my opinion. And the thing on the ground is highlighted because that's where the HSC has to be stopped at. Doesn't really need to be highlighted in my opinion, but nice to see I guess for new people who play in the game. Really lagging out though, holy crap. Come on, game, you can do it. I'm glad this is being done in the clear weather and not in the rain or in the snow. Otherwise, this would be lagging a lot more. Okay, there we go. Look. One minute is perf lagging and the next minute is as smooth as silk. Set the reverse to backwards and head into all out common. Change direction. Set the reverse to backwards, which is over here. Come on, game. Okay. Stop the location, train maintenance shed. So we actually went backwards, so. Let's get going. Oops, we need to release the brakes first. Let's go in a cab and do it, because anyone know. Okay, there we go. Perfect. It's kind of cool going backwards now. I might break the speed limit a little bit because we still got like a mile to go to the shed and I don't even go in 15 miles now. A bit slow in my opinion. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? It's fine, don't worry. Let's go 15 miles now. It shouldn't take too long anyway. Zero point seven miles left.
So it's being a little bit. Let's get the throttle. There we go. Almost there, uh, just under 800 yards. There's another HSD yet, there, actually. So, yeah, we are stopping inside this shed. Oh, speed is going down to. F uh, whoops. Now it tells me, literally. Eh, uh, we're going too slow. Uh, I didn't mean to stop. <laughs> uh, let's go slightly. I didn't realize there was a five miles an hour speed limit coming to the depot. There we go. Kind of makes sense since we're going reverse. It would be pretty dangerous going a lot faster than this. Oh, there's a HSD there without any Mark III coaches, kind of weird. Why are we slowing down? It's a bit annoying. Nine thousand XP though, that's pretty good. Anyway, let's just speed up, I don't really care, to be honest with you. <laughs> Five miles an hour is just too slow. And we know what we do anyway. We're not stopping right to the end though, so yeah. I think once we stop, we have to decouple from the HSC, I'm guessing. I'm going to slow down now. into the cab. Okay, put the reverse into neutral and turn the mask key off. Come on game. Oh man, it's so Ah, uh, come on. Why does it move it? It's so annoying. I'm clicking it but it's not moving so yeah. Disappointing that we couldn't um, uncouple from the HST, but anyways, enjoyable scenario, that's for sure. Level 7 at the moment. Level 7 on the red, London Paddington, the Reading. I think they fixed that actually. That's, that's kind of cool. And yeah, um, if you go to scenarios, that should be tick off, ticked off, hopefully. Once it start loading, come on game. Why is it actually loading in? There we go. Yeah, that's tick off. That's one ticked off. So, only scenario we've got left is this one, which I'll try to do next.
But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.